Williams, I am Kayla. And I am Sophia. We are going to tell you about the boycott against buses in Alabama. It all started when Rosa Parks refuses to give up, refused to give up her seat to a white passenger when it was a local law in Alabama. A boycott is when a large group of people get together to go against something, refuse to do something and give up. The bus boycott was a su success. It was the beginning of a new life for Rosa Parks and Dr. King because it was a new success. Now let's take it. Hi, I'm Mason here in Washington, D.C., and we have a lot of mixed opinions right now with the bill b being debated. Here is a man named Luke from Virginia. Hi, I'm Luke. I really don't want the civil rights bill being passed because um, we're not the same as black people are. And I also don't want to share my bathroom with a black person. Okay, thank you, Luke. Now we're going to speak to a man named Chris from Illinois. I want the civil rights law being passed because it's unfair to treat the black people badly. I even want them to treat us kindly. Plus, we're both human beings and they're going to do nothing to hurt us. Okay, thank you, Chris. It's been a crazy time here in Washington, D.C. with the bill being debated. Hello, I am here now with Professor Kayla of the University of Harvard, and she's going to tell us about the timeline of the civil rights history. Yes, it all started in 1948 when people were declaring equal rights. As time went on, more and more people became involved in the civil rights. Well, Professor, can you tell us about some of the people who started standing up for civil rights? Well, many people were involved, including local citizens. Rosa Parks and, of course, Mr. Martin Luther King, Jr., and they all stood up and protested in a nonviolent way, and even though whites were becoming violent in ways like bombing, shooting, and just a lot of very bad things. Well, thank you, Professor. Now let's go back to Washington, D.C., where decisions are being made in the courtroom. Hello. My name is Luke. I am here from I am here on July 2nd, 1964 with President Johnson on debate of whether or not we should have the civil rights bill to be passed to be a law for the black for African Americans. I think this law should be passed because I promised to myself that to follow President Kennedy's words of sending the civil rights bill into becoming a law. That's so great. So we finally have made a decision on whether or not the African Americans should have civil rights. Yes, yeah, so it was a very stressful time. Nobody seemed to agree about why or why not we should. And now that it's started, starting to become a lot, it's very exciting. That's so, that's so <coughs> wonderful. Where you, hear, where you heard it here, folk, we're finally going to have civil rights for African Americans today. Wow, okay, so that was a wrap. That was a good report about how they told us about the history of the civil rights and also how he likes or doesn't like the law that is happening right now. Thanks for watching Channel 10 News. Again, this is Kayla and this is Sophia telling you about what is happening in our world. Thank you and good night.